I'm going to tie an October caddis and I'm starting off with a size 10 uh, hopper hook in the vise and the thread that I'm going to use is a 70 orange and I'll start with my thread at the two-thirds mark in the hook shank and that's going to serve as a visual indication of where I want uh, materials to stop and start and then I'll wrap my thread down to the point in the hook where I can tie in my dubbing. This pattern is part uh, triple wing caddis and part uh, goddard caddis and I'll start with the triple wing portion of it and hopefully I'll get a chance to tie one of those in, in full here coming up. Uh, I'll take some Hairtron dubbing and this is in a rust or an orange and I'll dub the bend in the hook and put a slight taper into it. And I'll leave it at the point in the hook. Now I can tie in my first wing and that's going to be of elk hair. All three will be of elk hair. And I'll take a clump that's about the same uh, diameter as the gape in the hook, just to give you some, some reference. And I'll pull out the under fur in any short or long pieces and put it in my stacker. And I'll tie this on top and I want it to extend uh, to the same length as the entirety of the hook. And I can wrap that, wrap that down. I purposely left those butt sections longer and I do that so that I can grab onto them and trim them off at an angle. So once it's secure, I'll come back through and trim that off at an angle and then tie those down. And now I'll come back to my dubbing and dub over those threads. The only thing you want to be mindful of here is I want a nice flat bottom to this so I'll dub it at an angle so that it makes a good transition there where I tied in some of my other material. And then I'll repeat the process with another section of elk hair. So I'll cut, clean, and stack. And I'll make sure that the tips align. and tie it down and then pull the butt sections up and make my make my cut and now I can dub over top of that and then I'll add one more section of wing
right, so final, final clump. I'll clip, clean, and stack. I'll align the tips. And trim at an angle and tighten down those butt sections. All right, now that's the end of the of the triple wing portion of this, and the rest will look like a like a Goddard caddis. And I'll start with some hackle. So I've got a piece of furnace hackle here. I'll remove the pieces at the bottom and clip a good stem to tie in. And then I also like for my thorax to use some peacock curl. So I'll take two strands Trim the ends and tie those in. And then finally, for the antenna, I've got an, kind of a scrap bin, and I'll pull an old piece of furnace hackle or a piece that's oversized, and I'll peel away the fibers so that I have. A section of stem that is, I don't know, three or four inches uh, in length, and then I'll clip it so that I have just the stem. I'll double it over, and then I'll tie that in. on top and then I can wrap my peacock through You could dub this portion if you wanted instead, or just run the just run the hackle through, but I like the extra look that the peacock curl gives. And then I'll trim that. And then finally, my hackle. Make sure that's tied in and then trim. You can build out this head and take a couple of wraps underneath to help hold that antenna up and then I'll whip finish here. and trim and then I'll come back and clip the antenna into two and trim it to trim it to length. Could put a drop of head cement on there if you like, but and that is an October caddis.